Hello everyone, welcome to practice test training. In this video, I'll explain about software testing lifecycle or STLC and how practice test fits into the complete software testing lifecycle and can help your project in streamlining the complete cycle and delivering your project successfully. Um, so if we, if we start to cover the basic steps in software testing lifecycle. So the first step in STLC is the requirements gathering and practice test provides you a complete comprehensive requirement management internally or you can have an integration available to other third party tools to manage your requirement like Jira. You can have requirements in Jira and practice test will integrate Jira to have the requirements available in practice test interface. So requirements management is a module which covers the first phase of your software testing lifecycle. Um, after you have the requirement available, um, the next phase in STLC is requirements analysis um, and then creating a, you know, like a test plan and creating test cases after that. So after requirements are available, you do the analysis of testers or test leads, do the analysis, they come up with a plan, and then you start creating test cases against those requirements. And you manage your test cases under the test library in practice test. So practice test has a test library, comprehensive test case management suite, um, where you can create your test cases and manage the status of all those test cases very efficiently. So that covers the test management um, part of your software testing lifecycle. The next phase in STLC is um, the execution. So prior to execution, you need to have the environment set up and all, um, test environment set up, but that's not something which you manage in any test management tool. So that is a separate activity that needs to be handled before you actually can go ahead and start the test execution. Um, so once you are, once your test environment is ready, uh, test environment phase is done, the next phase is basically to create the test cycles which for which you need a test management tool and practice test has a module to create test sets and runs um, and add the test cases in those runs for execution on the particular test environment that, that is ready for you to execute those tests on. So the next phase is basically around the test execution. So you can create the test sets and add the test cases that you have created in test library to those test sets and start running those test cases or executing those test cases to see how the test cases are progressing with the new set of code that is deployed on that test environment. Um, once the test execution starts, there will be test cases which are failed or passed based on the requirements that have been captured. So there would be possibility that the requirements are not being met or the gaps in the requirement or the code that has been developed is doesn't match the requirement. So if the test cases are failing, then you have to raise defects. And defects is another part of, or it's another, another phase of STLC, which you need to raise and track in the issue management module of practice test. So in the next phase, for example, you are doing the execution you found the defect, a test case failed, you raise the issue or bug and manage it in the issue management. So issue management can be done internally in practice test or you can have issue management in Jira or other third party tool and have the integration available. So practice test provides integration with third party issue management tools as well. So that's the next phase of STLC, so defect management for which you have efficient module in practice test. The last phase is around the reporting. So STLC, once all the test execution has happened, you have raised defects, 
um, how the defects have been fixed and progressed and what the quality um, at the end phases of the project stands you will get all those reports um, available in the report center so that's the last phase of the SDLC and if you see at the top in practice test it provides pretty good coverage around the complete STLC and streamlining the whole software testing lifecycle and making your overall project delivery uh, or test delivery uh, successful. So that's pretty much it for this session. Um, in further sessions, we'll learn more around um, deep dive into the test library or test sets and run and issue management in practice. Thank you.